Welcome back to another Maxi Boost on commentary. I am Lukewarm Holiday. I am Irissa. And we are going to watch Avalanche Exia footage from the Quenji Cube channel. Avalanche Exia is a fairly basic melee suit. Alright, so. Has a very weird CSA that throws a bullet forward and one upward to catch people hopping away from you. He's got a 3 chain BR like Exia does that reloads pretty quickly. His sub throws out two daggers in a cone shape and you can use it for self defense or pushing offense. Um, he kind of threw it out way too far. You usually want to use it up close to kind of trump guard people. Yeah, you can use the combination of sub and CSA to basically trap people. And there, because, that's that's yeah. the highlight of the suit. He has yeah. a button BC that's just super high priority, super high tracking. So if he gets near you, and if you're not checking it, it just hits you. He used yeah, to he, have he used to have lower HP, but they just decided to give him standard HP in this game. Yeah, the suit's basic game plan is to use its CSA jump and sub to like trap people keep ch chasing people and then just throw out either the shooting guard bc or they throw out the really high priority fast moving attack one which is the neutral one i think yeah i'm pretty sure you don't actually want to use this command dash when you're actually like doing sequences yeah, it's, it's on people yeah like the, the, I, I, I forgot it. to talk about the command dash yeah the command dash is the is ac it's actually pretty bad like it's it, you use it because have... it goes faster Oh, there's yeah. a good use of the CSA where the guy was trying to rise to escape and it called that yeah. out. So he has yeah. a little bit of a set play. It's not it's not too tight, but he does have a decent ability to hit you again after he gets a knockdown. And I call him a basic melee suit because it's pretty standard now for melee suits to have activates. Yeah, we didn't go over his activate. Basically, it improves his boost efficiency, makes his command dash not complete garbage to use. Like, it doesn't cost your whole boost bar to use it. Yeah. Uh, and you just generally have improved performance in, in a lot of Also, areas. you've probably seen it already. You can hop, or if you press main out of his command dash, you start falling. Yeah. Quite a lot on this suit also cancels into his APC, which is the hop. Like, you can throw daggers and cancel that straight into the hop. I think CSA cancels into it, too. Yeah, pretty much everything cancels into it. And you use that to remain evasive while you're chasing and steal landings. Yeah, like there, you basically, you just, it's a little bit, if you played like some other suits, like say Xenon, some of the logic to the suit is pretty similar. You just kind of keep jumping forward and tossing out moves that will cancel. Off also your moves that cause ground bounce, like, uh, I think it's his 2B. And moves like Destiny's 2B, like, you'll see a lot of people do them in combos when they're afraid that, like, they're going to get cut. So they'll knock them to the ground, let the ground bounce, have them bounce see if they're being attacked and they can finish the combo and then decide on whether or not they want to finish the combo or not. Oh, that was a really nice chase sequence. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, I think, I think we forgot to... There's some... Oh yeah, he has an OTG, that's right. We, we saw that before, but he has a, he can also pick up off, like, if he hits you with random moves, like his, uh, like his jump attack, he can pick up off it. Mm -hmm. Very easily. Yeah, he was spamming the... He was spamming the high-priority attack there, but the guy kept staffing and shooting. I don't know why he threw his life away. I don't know. Well, he's gonna... He can win it now, it's fine. He's in S, He's in CSB with F-Burst. I guess harsh. if they were gonna die at the same time, Wing Zero TV, he runs away better. So actually, I, I'm fine with that. Because he's like, fuck it, I'm just gonna try and die first so I can pop burst while Wing Zero TV CSBs and runs away. Pop Zero system. <sighs> Alright. Versus Reborns now, so a suit that's more than capable of dealing with it. Same with Strike Noir. Yeah, see, he doesn't want to commit, because if he gets close to Reborns, he's just going to eat Gagas. He's no, also they, being they, That was a really good pin sequence from both Wing Zero mm -hmm. and Avalanche to, like, separate Noir. Ooh, good defense from Noir, though. Using that to make sure it covers, so... Yeah, Noir's railgun's really fat, so melee suits are gonna find that pretty annoying. Ooh, nice shooting guard. Yeah, shooting okay, guard back, right, his back special melee also has a shooting guard. It moves fairly slow, but... It's got projectile block, so pretty good point blank. 
Pretty good for calling out Vernier moves. Uh. Yeah, they're pretty much just letting Axia front this game because he's not going to be able to actually do a whole lot unless he gets a lot of life, basically. Been going good. Oh, that was a good target swap to protect the Wings of your TV. Wings of your TV got a pickup now. CSB full burst. Let's go. How dare you? And now on the. I think he might be dead. Shin. Nice. He waited out for the Gagas. Yeah. And finally got him to use them. Well, now you're dead. And now he just yeah command dashes across the map super fast. OTG. OTG super. Kill. Yeah, That's a, that was a really good use of the OTG. Yeah. Or a good example, I should say. That wasn't super. Because yeah. they got a random hit, scooped him off the ground, and confirmed him to a full combo. It's probably one of the better things about this suit now. Like, he can force a guessing game, but... Being able to pick up off, like, stray hits also makes it so you can be a bit more bully. Oh, that unicorn had the right idea, but he reacted to the block. This is this, this, the EXIA flip. <laughs> Normal mode unicorn, so sad. Oh no, he didn't quite finish the... No, the worst feeling. Oh no. Also, the, yeah, this this guy can do full combos on you and overheat pretty easily because of all the cancel chains. Mm -hmm. And pretty good combos for that matter, too. I used to think this thing was a, like kind of mad because I was like, the boomerangs are too small, but honestly, they don't need to be that big for this thing to work, so. Not everything has to be Banshee boomerangs. It was just volatile because in full boost, the environment's a bit different and it had less HP. Like, it was actually a low HP 2.5k in that game. And 2k's are really safe. I think what's kind of funny about this suit is that you don't actually press your normal melee buttons a whole lot with it. Yeah, you mostly just BC into people. Yeah, you get close your enough. BC is like what's mostly what's getting you hits. Like you use six B to swerve around stuff, sure, but like you use your yeah. See, he just yeah. hopped directly on top of them and then step BC. Nice. That was this is actually a really sick unblockable place. time. Yep, nope, not even unblockable. Oh, well. oh no, I would have went for that. Or did he actually get a full knockdown? No, he didn't. Maybe he knew it wouldn't kill, so he aborted. Because now, force out the E-burst, and now they're going to ignore Unicorn for the rest of the game. Because what is he going to do? Yeah, there isn't really, like, uh, when it comes to, like, dissecting what's going on here, like, um, you have to be moving in the correct direction at any given point to not get caught by these things, but you also have to be able to call out or step or like or call out his high priority melee or, or whatever. So like basically whenever this thing is flying at you, you're in some you're you're getting mixed to an extent because you're like, oh I'm just gonna keep flying sideways and stay on angle and shoot, you get caught by the you get caught by the boomerang. That was unfortunate. No, not the boomerang, but, yeah. You get caught by the site the sub. If you just try to, like, fly away and rise, you get caught by the CSA, you know, and if you... And, you know, if you don't contest anything and you just, like, you will focus very carefully and move properly, then you get yeah, prioritized with his melee because he closes the gap with BC very boost efficiently. So, like, this suit forces some kind of response. You have to guess right, basically. You have to, When he's doing the button in question, you have to guess right. And that can get kind of messy because he can do sub into CSA, but, like... That's not a trivial sequence to do. You have to park it. You have to like um you have to like have a partial cancel to do that. But you can also do, I believe, CSA into sub, which is slightly not as good. Uh but yeah. CSA into CSA into sub like kind of covers everything to an extent, but you know, if they Yeah, if and they CSA move, has good yeah. enough correction that it's just good on its own still. Yeah, yeah for sure. It's but just, it's, if it's... you get the timing right, you can kind of throw out, like, if you move left and right, you get hit. If you moved up and down, you get hit. Like, yeah. But you have to be, like, perfect timing and in the yeah. perfect spot. And if they know how to move against it, like, it'll be like, hard to actually get yeah. that timing. It's mostly a case of you have to kind of move diagonally with it and somehow still manage to not end up having him 
like just fly straight into your vector. Basically. Him getting that OTG has to be my favorite part of this suit right now. Because I just love like a random hit knocking someone down and Avalanche Exia has to run across the map to confirm his OTG. <laughs> He's like, oh boy. Oh, people are not respecting his CSA. Yeah, it's a very... Calls out whatever your defensive attack... Oh, nice! Oh, Age the Age Age sure you can! Sure you can! APC wow. on Age FX, yeah, it might as well be a sure you can. H2. It comes out like yeah. inst... Or not Age FX, Age 2. Comes out like almost instantly. Well, Destiny died first and Age 2 is quite a lot of HP, so this match is actually okay for the opponent's team right now. And Destiny is doing a pretty decent job defending against it. Oh, as long as he doesn't get hit here. Oh no, he, he super armored through that while well, shooting guard. Oh yeah, a lot of his melee cancel into main, which throws two daggers. And it pushes you back, so it kind of makes combos hard to cut if you're worried about getting cut. You can just cancel into that. A lot of these sequences where he's doing the jump into the, the toss are really effective because if you don't challenge the jump, right? then he's, he's getting amazingly boost-efficient movement into your vector, right? But if you do challenge it, you can get hit by the CSA. So that is, that in itself is also something to, to... If you're wondering why this is working so much, when he just like jumps and throws CSA or just jumps at people. You have to like very precisely predict it. But when he doesn't have the CSA, he can't do it. So, you know, he can't keep doing it if you guess. If you manage to avoid one sequence. That's the thing you got to remember with this thing. Yeah, there was a good example yeah. of it. He just APC'd directly on top of him through the CSA to cancel it into BC. And... You've either got to block or hit a button because it's going to hit you. Block or stat, basically, yeah. Probably repeatedly, Fua, if you just want to stall dying. Fua is step hop. And put a step then hop. Oh no, 1.4. Exia and oh, no. Red Quevle against this. Hmm, I'm not sure that they can. They, there's enough Unga left for this. Oh, they caught the, caught the Red Quevle, wasn't even looking at it. Oh no, no punish either, no! I'm it's sorry, I should be good. Good. Okay, this is good though. Okay, okay, this is this is still not terrible for the opposing team. They can. They can he at least got damage with the burst. Look at how far that BC went. That's so far. It's so high priority. Burst, yeah. Nice block. Got hit anyway, but kind of forced Less two damage. people's attention. The Exia didn't do anything when they were both focusing for that unblockable though. And didn't even okay. protect themselves. Well, the so enemy team's bad. death order is still fine, but now they're really behind on life, which is not good. Yep. Pretty good intercept by the other X, yeah. Let's see if- okay, no, Pura's, Pura's burst is getting denied. Wing Zero isn't really taking anything. Wing Zero is bursting to not take anything, has to keep the game stable, that's good. Oh no, did he get hit? Oh no, he got hit by the Quibble, okay. Yeah, he got hit by Quibble. Yeah, Xia, Xia's bursting, no. absolutely nothing. It's game's over. Oh, he has e Exia even has burst now. Axia, rather. Yeah. Just. Yeah. 1.5k life. Alright. We'll do one more. This suit's pretty basic, and I can't really commentate much on like the actual sequences unless I'm doing like a proper video for it. Like an actual, like, how to play video. I should say that like something that you never see with this thing, but he does have, is he has a Tolkien Stealth Fastball, but nobody ever uses it because it's terrible. And it only ha he only has it in CSV. That was funny, he bounced off Dynamis Shield when he wasn't even aiming at him. Yeah. There's a good example of the Reborn's Gaga's nerf. Yeah. Because they pop out in front of him. Oh, so see, oh, that, that, see, that sequence of Reborn's was perfectly, like, that's the kind of thing you have to do to not get caught in this thing's, like, piece of, like, this thing's, like, offensive sequences. You have to know exactly when he's going to do things so you can step out. I see a lot more people just let the 2.5k melee suit front because you can force damage so well in this game. 
Mm, well, Wing's is kind of low, so I don't. I'm not sure that it was a good idea. Oh no, Wing. Oh, Reborns didn't have a Garrow there. That was awkward. Look at me. Look at me. I think this is kind of funny because, like, I can't tell if he's actually trying to kill him or not. Oh, he is. Oh, okay. Nice. Well, well, Dynamis has just completely solidified that this game is now in the opposing team's lead. Oh dear. Oh well, dear. They're screwed. They're, they're, they're screwed. Wrong. They're super screwed. They're so screwed. Oh my god, he got away with that. <laughs> oh, the Dynamis just shot him. Well. Oh. Yeah, you go in a bit too hard, and then suddenly, like, one Garaby happens, and the match is, is like, oh crap. The enemy's also pretty decent at anti melee. Whatever, we'll do one more. Yeah, because I was pretty short. I'm, I'm not. I'm concerned as to why the GPO3 isn't mashing like a madman. Like, even the Axia was expecting the GPO3 to just start spamming in self-defense and input a step. There it is. Wing Zero is pretty much shutting down Destiny this game, so... Yeah. And GPO3 didn't really do anything. Oh no, he ran out of main to get, the, to get the rest of that, that's bad. Yeah, make sure you empty out your main when you're not doing anything with GPO3. Like if you have a moment to breathe, it's a moment you should probably get rid of like the last okay, two or three Okay, if Destiny gets a good combo, okay, Destiny got cut. Okay, so now it's not complete. It could have been evened out there. Because <sighs> GPO3's reload is actually crazy if you just empty the whole clip. It's like, what if your main reloaded like one per second rather than three like most suits well this is looking like a wash yeah you can't run away from that like like it doesn't work you, yeah, you, you have can't to just you have stop to away accept. you have to do fua steps you have to do like hard stalls you have to keep cutting guidance while ascending if you want to ascend to escape and buy a couple extra seconds to survive the problem is obviously that if you if you do that, but then he just melees you, you'll probably die as well. So, but yeah, that's the 50-50 yeah. right there. Well, if you anyway. repeatedly fool, you can get out. Anyway. I guess anyway, we're are you more. done? We're already in the middle of this, let's let it go. Yeah. Yeah, the shooting guard melee is actually kind of slow, so it only really works at close range, obviously. Yeah, he's used it to call out Railgun before. Yeah. But just the CSA and the BC is so strong. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It's scary that the suit does not have low HP anymore. I feel like its beam rifle is actually pretty decent as well. You wouldn't expect for it to be as good as it is for being a chaining beam rifle. A chaining beam rifle on a melee suit as well. Strike is doing an admirable job this game of trying to shut down, but Hot Scramble's eating too much damage. Yep. Dead. Alright. Bullied. That's it for now. Later. Later.